All right, guys, so what we're supposed to be talking about when it comes to the collapse of the Baltimore Bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, is the tragic loss of life and why this happened, okay? Is there going to be an investigation, a thorough investigation, yeah. into why this happened? Because I personally believe that there's more to this than what we're being led on to believe, okay? Because yeah. they're telling us that, hey, the ship lost power, and ran into the column of the bridge. Um, I would like further investigation to yes. figure out if that is in fact what happened. Was it completely an accident? Was it some type of cyber attack? Was it a terrorist attack? Uh, I, I want to have a full investigation, okay? Yep. But yep. yeah, those are the things Logical. that we're supposed to What BCP talk about. just said was I logical. That there's logical. more to this than what we're being led on to believe, okay? Oh, because they're telling us that, hey, the ship lost power and ran into the column of the bridge. Um, I would like further investigation to figure out if that is in fact what happened. Was it completely an accident? Was it some type of cyber attack? Was it a terrorist attack? Uh, I, I want to have a full investigation, okay? But yeah. yeah, those are the things that we're supposed to be talking about, okay? Now, I already told you guys that the left was going to try to make this a race issue, and surely they did, because essentially, uh, with the bridge uh, on track to be rebuilt, I mean, they're definitely going to rebuild the bridge, yeah. um, the left is already coming out and saying, we need to rename the bridge, because Francis Scott Key was a slave owner. Now, this is no surprise, because these are the same people that want to uh, replace the national anthem with the black national anthem, because Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner, right? So, again, no surprises. Please. Unfortunately, however, we're not having a conversation about the left trying to make the Baltimore Bridge situation a race issue because the left is accusing the right of trying to make the Baltimore Bridge situation a race issue. Please. And they're currently melting down over one right-wing anonymous, anonymous, I mean, this person doesn't even have a, a, a real profile picture, right? Yeah. We don't know who this person is. Yeah. Uh, one anonymous account on X basically commenting that the Baltimore's mayor is a DEI mayor, okay, in response to the press conference that the mayor did, okay? Now, here's the thing. Do I think that it was appropriate in that moment to call the mayor a DEI mayor? No, I do not think that it was appropriate, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, however, I, I think that the left is no using doubt. this I agree. one tweet I agree. as... I meant it, okay? to now, say no lie, no lie. I agree, agree. The no lie, the I bear. agree, no lie. Anonymous account on X basically commented that the Baltimore's mayor is a DEI mayor, okay, in response to... I agree with did, okay? what now, BCP just said. Do I think that it was appropriate in that moment to call the mayor a DEI mayor? No, I do not think that it was appropriate. Not okay? the right uh, However, time. I think that the left not is using the this right one tweet time as fuel to say. To, uh, however, I think that the left is using this I do one agree with... I do agree... I do agree with what BCP just said. DEI mayor, okay, in response to the press conference that the mayor did, okay? Now, here's the thing. Not do I think that it was appropriate right, in that not moment not the right to call the mayor a time, DEI mayor? Not no, the I do not right think that it was appropriate, time. okay? Uh, however, I think that the left is using this Therefore, not the D right okay, in response time. to the press conference that the mayor did. Okay, now here's the thing: Do I think that it was appropriate in that moment to call the mayor a DEI mayor? No, I do not think that it was appropriate. Okay, uh, however, I think that the left is using this one tweet as fuel to yep. light the fire of well, DEI is the new N word, right? Because again. <laughs> Uh, rightfully, DEI has been criticized, okay, because we do know that DEI has become a new religion of the government and corporate America yes, in yes. higher education. No doubt, no doubt. Fuel to light the fire of, well, DEI is the new N-word, right? Because, right. again, uh, rightfully, right. DEI has been criticized, okay, because we do... It is. 
whack that right, the Wokies equate D-E-I to that word, the N word. It is, it is indubitably whack. It is indubitably whack that the Wokies equate D-E-I to the N word. It is indubitably whack that the Wokies equate D-E-I to the N word. Again, uh, fuel to light the fire of, well, D-E-I is the new N word, right? Because again, they uh, love the to lead D-E-I race has baits. been criticized. They again, love because... to race bait. That ish has to cease. Yeah, that 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 race baiting ish pisses me off, yo. That race baiting ish kisses me off. Fuel to light the fire of well. Uh, however, I think that the left is using this one tweet as fuel to light the fire of well. DEI is the new how how how. Does what to the Wokies to 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 the Wokies? How does what y'all do help black people? How how does race baiting help black people? How does race baiting help black people? How does Race baiting. How does race baiting help black people? How? How? Fuel to light the fire of, well, DEI is the new N word, right? Because, again, uh, rightfully, DEI has been criticized yep. right? because we do know that DEI has become the new religion of government and yep, corporate yep. America Sad. and higher education as well too and it's causing a lot of problems right yes. I mean the standards that we're having for ourselves in society is being lowered significantly Trash. because of diversity, equity and inclusion wokeness. and it is going to have it is consequences okay in the last social level. malady wokeness is a social malady that needs to be eradicated that social malady needs to be eradicated. Right, because again, uh, rightfully, DEI has been criticized, okay, because we do it ha- know it does that DEI have has become a new a negative, of a negative and effect. corporate America it and higher education as well, too. And it's causing a, a lot of problems, right? A I mean, negative the effect. standards that we're having for Wokeness, ourselves. it does have a negative effect. With America in higher education as well too, and it's causing a lot of problems, right? I mean, the standards that we're having for ourselves as a society is being lowered significantly because of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and it is going to have disastrous consequences. Okay, yep. and the left yep. knows this, but the way yep. they try to wiggle their way out of having a real conversation about DEI is accusing anybody of having any types of criticisms of DEI of being racist. So it just so happens that they're using this one post from an account that again is anonymous. Yeah. The key, in order the key to words. try to basically make it an act of bigotry to <laughs> use the term DEI in a negative way. Right? This is what they're doing, okay? I mean this Still reminds kidding, me of bro. Those this. But the way they try to look it, their it way is, out of having a real idiocy, conversation about DEI idiocy. is accusing anybody of having any types of criticisms of DEI of being racist. And it just so happens that they're using this one post from an account that, again, is anonymous in order to try to basically make it an act of bigotry to use the term DEI in a negative way. Right? This is what they're doing, okay? I mean, this reminds me of the whole crisis came is anti-Semitism thing. I try yeah, to tell you guys yeah. that a lot of that Facts. stuff is all the same, yep, right? Yep. What they're trying to do is to police language, yes. okay? And it's just so funny how they're so to do it that they use it. Dictatorial. To use the term DEI in a negative way, 
right? This is what they're doing, okay? I mean, this reminds me of the whole crisis came is anti-Semitism thing. I try to tell yep. you guys that yep. a lot of that stuff is all the same, right? Okay. What they're trying to do is to police language, okay? Yep. And it's just so funny how they're so desperate to do it that they use an anonymous account. Me personally, I don't think that we should take anything that anybody on the internet says that's not willing to show their face, right? You're not willing to yeah. show your face. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a voice, but yeah. I don't think that your voice should be taken seriously because, yeah. quite honestly, you don't have skin in the game. So the fact that the left would elevate an anonymous account as some major right-wing voice that said this, which, by the way, um, nobody else is saying this, okay? You only have this one account that said this, and they try to extrapolate this to, well, oh, see, look. These people use DI to describe any black person. It is basically the new N word, <laughs> crazy, which is exactly crazy. what the mayor of Baltimore. They love to claim here in this so, interview. They, the radicals, they love to sow seeds of discord. The radicals love to sow seeds of discord. It's basically the new N word which is exactly what the mayor of Baltimore is going to claim here in this interview with Joy Reid, where, again, they express fake outrage about Crazy. one anonymous account on X calling this mayor a DEI hire. But before we get into it, we have to have a word. Yeah, I will uh, do a part two to this. Yeah, this is crazy, bro. Yeah. The race they think has to stop. The race they think has to stop. The race they think has to stop. 